Welcome back to Tootie's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a compote. This is a simple, great way to add a little something extra to your morning pancakes, French toast, or waffles. It's very easy to do and it has just a little extra touch. Okay, so you're going to want to start off with whatever syrup is your favorite kind of syrup. I use Aunt Jemima's. Usually you use blueberries and strawberries. You want to stay away from things like raspberries that have a lot of um, seeds in them because otherwise you're going to have a seedy compote and you don't want that. You're going to start by dumping in your berries. Obviously rinse them off for first. You want to use one of the half pint of blueberries or blackberries, whatever makes you happy. The strawberries you'll take off the tops and you'll cut them in quarters. Um, if you like big chunks of strawberries, you can cut them in halves and, and put them in there. Whatever makes you happy. It's your food. You have to eat it later. So you add all the ingredients. I added about three cups of syrup, a pint, half a pint of blueberries, and about a cup and a half of cut strawberries. If you're cooking for a larger group of people, you add more syrup and more fruit. You want to start it off on high so that it comes to a boil, and then you turn it down to low, or in my case, two on my stove. The goal is to get it to reduce down to half of what you put in there so that the sweetness comes out of the syrup and the fruit. So I've let it reduce for about 10 minutes now. Depending on how much you start off with, it will depend on how long you let it reduce. Right now, I'm just tasting it to see what it tastes like. Some people like their compote extremely sweet. I do not. I believe that the fruit that I added to it, the sugars, once they boil out, is enough for me. But if you want it sweeter, feel free to add just regular sugar. I don't recommend brown sugar because it will add a different caramelization flavor to it that I'm not a big fan of. You can start with a, a fourth a cup of sugar. Be very, very careful. I would even recommend maybe even doing an eighth of a cup because the more sugar you add, the more flavor it's going to bring out. And before you know it, it's going to be really, really sugary. So as you can see, it has reduced down to not quite half of what it was, but we're slowly getting there. So it's still very liquidy. What I want it to do is to coat the spoon, but not fall off the spoon like it did in drips. Um, you want it to be a little thicker than the syrup that you originally put in there. So it still has some time to go. So we're gonna let it cook for just a little bit longer. Okay, I've let it cook for just a little bit longer. We're almost halfway to where I want it to be. You'll see the rim and you'll see the rim and how much it has reduced down, which is exactly what we're looking for. It's not boiling as much as I want it to, so I'm gonna turn it up here in just a second so that it can go back to rolling boil instead of just a simmer. I'm not too worried about it burning because I don't have direct heat under it like you would if you had a gas stove. On a gas stove, you're gonna be want to, want to be a lot more careful because of the direct heat. On an electric stove, it's a little bit more forgiving. Also, I'm in a nonstick pan, also much more forgiving, so that makes it better. Okay, we're just about done. I'm gonna check the consistency of it. See how it's completely coating my spoon and it's not dripping off like water would off of your spoon, but it's a little bit thicker? That's what you're looking for. It's also reduced down to half of what it was. I think it tastes fantastic. I'm not gonna add any more sugar or anything else to it. It's very easy to do this. You just throw it all in and let it cook. This is our finished pro product. We've got pancakes, sausage, and a little bit of compote to go on top of our pancakes. I think that this will make a great breakfast and a great addition to pancakes, french toast, or waffles. Enjoy! Oh, oh, oh.